This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neese with the Raw Life Health Show. Thank you for watching. And I've been uh, traveling a lot lately and I always would ask the question is, why do people uh, not choose to eat healthy? What determines somebody's choices? Now when it comes to organic food, of course, some people it's the money, the cost of it. Uh, but uh, other people, it's the convenience of it. And that leads me to today's video. I'm in a place, I'm actually camping this week, and uh, this is little town. And I found a small supermarket in a little town. and Forget about organic food. I mean, they didn't even have like a good selection of fruits and vegetables and or a good selection of anything. So when I think about why people uh, choose not to eat healthy, because it is a choice, uh, you know, we can grow food, we can get creative ways to get maybe grow sprouts or something else. But when it comes down to our, our lifestyle and our choices and what we have time to do and the convenience of things, I, I, I'm convinced a lot of people are not able to do it because they just can't get food. I'm in this little town here and I, I couldn't get food. I went to a supermarket, I could not get good food. The produce was terrible. It wasn't organic, but sometimes you get unorganic that looks half decent. Absolutely uh, no good choices there. And, and some people just settle for the worst and they think they don't have a choice. Uh, but I just got creative and I looked around and I found out just uh, 30 minutes away from where I'm staying is one of the best health food stores I've ever been in. And there's three health food stores in a town where I just was. Now, a lot of people that live in this town, I don't know the transportation situation, if they have a car or not. And if you don't have a car, what do you do? You can't drive a half an hour just to get healthy food uh, whenever you want it. So what do you do and how do you do it? And that's where you have to get creative, folks. Now, if you have a car, of course it's easier, but if you don't have a car, what do you actually do? And may I suggest that we need to be creative and of course, of Seen it. Most little towns like this might have a little uh, uh, farmer's market or something, but or growing stuff. But especially in winter time, what do you do? Uh, may I suggest uh, maybe getting a bike, a 30-minute bike ride, is a healthy thing. And to reward yourself with some healthy food and health is not a bad idea. I have a bike and I have I have things on my bike that I can carry a lot of things. Now some people just aren't healthy to ride a bike, let alone 30 minutes. For three minutes, some people can't ride a bike because they're not healthy. So we, we first, we have to get healthy, folks. And, and every single one of us, unless we've already permanently damaged by an accident or a disease that has overtaken us, has the opportunity to work up to a 30-minute bike ride. Uh, even running 30 minutes, we have the opportunity to do, no matter how young or old you are. Now, of course, if we've already suffered from a disease or if we're suffering from a disease, or if we've suffered from an accident that maybe wasn't even our fault. Maybe we were health-minded and we were very healthy. And we got in a car accident, we hurt our back and we can't do those things. Uh, we all have circumstances in life, folks, of why uh, we can't do certain things. And I don't want to call it excuses because there are valid reasons of why we can't get healthy food sometimes. And this is a perfect situation of where I am now, why we can't get healthy food. Or, or, or how we could be in a situation where, where we can't get healthy food. But the thing is, we're putting ourselves in these situations, meaning whatever is keeping somebody living here, why can't they live closer to town or closer to where there's something, where they, a store or somewhere where they might better get something. And then there's the option of some people, they don't have that opportunity. Maybe the cheap, rent is cheaper out here, maybe they have a job out here, or a big family out in the middle of nowhere in this town. Well, well you know, Learning to grow stuff, like I said, grow your own sprouts or, or finding neighbors that are growing stuff. Uh, there are situations where you meet people and they're just stuck. They're stuck. Me mentally, they're stuck. They don't think there's no way. They don't even know about eating healthy. And if there is, there's no way they can get it. Money, financially, people are stuck. They absolutely have, they're just trying to survive, let alone buy healthy food and worry about what food they're eating. And then, uh, you know, physically, they're just not, they physically can't get it. And a lot of times when people are in that situation, they just give up. They give up. They go to the local McDonald's or the local fast food place and they get something real cheap uh, because they can afford that and they think that's the only thing they'll be able to afford. Uh, and, and, and they just get into a lifestyle of the standard American lifestyle, standard American living. And it, it's a shame. I mean, it's one thing when people have the opportunity to do things and they don't, but when people don't, what do they do? And they, they put themselves in this box and they never look outside the box that they can never get out of this box. And I can't speak for everyone. 
And my heart goes out to you if you are suffering or you're one of those people dealing with this situation. But I can tell you that I was in a situation where I had a disease and I couldn't leave my house or be away from my bathroom for more than five minutes, maybe ten minutes. And I was living in a place, and now in, in Brooklyn, New York, there's many health food stores. But when I was living there, I had to take a train ride for over 45 minutes to get some organic greens. And financially, I was just starting out. I was a young person in life. And, you know, yes, it was a big city, and there are certain conveniences like a subway to get somewhere. You didn't necessarily have to ride a bike. But still, we all have things that are against us. Don't let that stop you from, from living your full potential. It starts with clear thinking, and that starts with a clear, a clear body, a clear colon. And, and that's what we need. So we, we, I just want to encourage everyone, no matter what you're doing, it's not about perfection and eating uh, the best you can do. It's about each day doing a little bit better than you did the day before. And health doesn't begin with what we add to our diet. It begins with you eliminate. So eliminate the things that are creating the problem. And guess what's going to go away, the problem? Your addiction to soda. You could just stop drinking soda and start drinking water instead. Or even better, if you can get a juice, a juice. You know, get rid of your microwave oven. Throw your microwave oven out. So maybe you don't have an opportunity to get the best food in the best store. But at least bake your food instead of frying your food. Throw away your microwave oven. You know, start simple. Stop eating GMO foods. Yes, GMO is taken over, but there's still, I'd say, 80% or 75% of the things in the store are not GMO. So why would you eat the things that are GMO? You know, uh, educate yourself, learn about uh, the differences of what organic is, is, is okay to not get organic or, or should definitely be bought organic. You know, so learn, get the knowledge and, and do it, folks. Do a little bit better every day and, and just make those subtle changes. And, you know, learn about wild edible foods. You know, I'm in this, this campground, this park. I mean, 90% of the grasses and the weeds and the herbs out here are edible that we can eat. And they're the best food you can get. You can't buy food better than wild herbs. Get a book. Go online and look at wild herbs. You can, Give me a bowl. I'll come back with a salad. Organic, wild, and the best nutrition you could ever get. That's what it comes down to, folks. Doing a little bit better, but going the extra step and learning and doing it. And I want to encourage you to do so. So thank you for checking this out. And I pray that you just uh, are motivated to just do a little bit better each day. Thank you. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.